up and run. What are we doing, Mr. Pool? Well, there might be in front of me the ingredients for the biggest baconator ever consumed. You're right, the biggest baconator ever consumed. Now, Matt Stoney did one of these a while back. I'm not sure how big his was, but it was really like a baconator he t bought and then just put a bunch of bacon on it. So, the basis for my baconator starts out with three pounds of ground beef. I got 48 slices of bacon, 48 slices of cheese, and then you put mayo and ketchup on it. So, it's gonna be epic. Oh, it should have at least 50% fat. Come on. <laughs> Do they even make 50-50 beef? Because no, uh, that so. would be like would Wagyu. Be, that would be. <laughs> and that's yeah, be, pretty much like. Uh, that'd be awful. That is like the uh, the fattiest beef ever. Yeah. I don't know why people pay so much money for that. Make myself some square patties. Yeah. Oh yeah. Might want to throw some like egg in there even to kind of. I don't know. It might get fatty enough. I think I need a binder. That's a pretty hefty patty right there. It is big, right? I mean, obviously it's kind of cooked down, so I need to smoosh it out a little bit. Make it a little so, thinner and cook better, too. It's a baconator, so of course you have to have a square patty. Gotta be square. It's hip to be square, Mr. Pool. It's hip to be square. I guess I could have just formed this out and then cut it in half. <laughs> yeah, technically. <laughs> it's almost like a repeating omelet. One pound, six ounces. I got two packages of that. Also got fries to go along with this Baconator because you don't go to Wendy's and just get a Baconator with no fries. You gotta have fries. And people already know how I feel about fries, but I'm still gonna do it because... because. Just because? Just because. We'll build another tray of that bacon. And then we'll toss it all in and then get back with you when we assemble this bad boy. I guess bacon eaters come with ketchup and mayonnaise on them. According to what we read. I don't have any mayonnaise. I'm a Miracle Whip guy myself. So. Gross. I'm a Miracle Whip man myself. So we're Miracle Whip in mine. Miracle Whip. It's an abomination. Then we'll patty it up. So it goes patty cheese bacon, patty cheese bacon. Okay. Patty's almost not big enough for that roll. I know, my meat shrunk down. So it did. It's gonna be an awful lot of cheese on there. I should use it. In round two. Keep that grease off there. I'm <clears throat> trying to keep the calories on.
This is how it goes down right here. Baconator status. Bacon. That's a real baconator. Look at that. Oh yeah, that. That's what it's at. What's going on, Killer Clan? The Baconator. Not just any Baconator. The killer version of the Baconator. Me and Mr. Poole have constructed what a Baconator should be. Comprised of a one pound King Hawaiian bun, three pounds of beef, 48 strips of bacon, and 24 slices of cheese product. Or cheese, or whichever you would like to prefer. And just for you guys, two pounds of the Killer's Kryptonite fries. This is what I would imagine my meal to be if I would have went to Wendy's and ordered a Baconator. This thing's huge. I love bacon. I'm ready to get into this. All right, thing. so like I said, I compressed this Baconator. It has three pounds of beef, 48 strips of bacon, a King's Hawaiian bun, ketchup mayo, and 24 slices of cheese, along with two pounds of seasoned french fries. They're actually not bad. And they're deep fried, not in the oven. I'm not trying to keep the calories down, though. I do have some diet ruby here to help me keep the calories down, though, and water. Of ketchup and ranch to help me get through these fries. I'm not going for speed on this. I'm actually going to go and kind of enjoy this thing. I can guarantee I'm not going to be able to pick this up and try to eat it normally, so I'm going to tear it apart. But without further ado, the largest baconator. Three, two, one. You know, I bet you. We're baconating it. If you ate that top patty and Bacon. I could turn it into a regular Baconator. Ah, Mr. Poole has an idea. We're going to try it. Comment below how you like your bacon. I like it. Not too, not too. Floppy. I like it floppy. Cooked, but not overly cooked. Mmm, look at that. Didn't burn the bacon this time. I did the bacon in the oven to prevent it from getting burned on the grill. I did, however, do the patties on the grill. It's tasty. <laughs> so much cheese. It's like a blanket of cheese. <clears throat> it reminded me a couple weeks ago of the grilled cheese challenge. Comment below if you watched the grilled cheese challenge. <laughs> it's like a handful of cheese. At least it goes down easy. I got my sidekick. And you get skeptical. Yeah. Like the atomic fry challenge with side of burger. <laughs> That was like four and a half, five pounds of fries. That was an obnoxious amount of fries. I brought that out. I was like, what the crap? Kryptonite. Kryptonite. Get this thing. Oh, I'm gonna try to pick it up. <laughs> Look up. It's like the size of my head. All right, here we go. <clears throat> I 
can kind of do it. <laughs> it's not working too good. Think about it. Sandwich it. Look at that cross section. Woo! Mm, that's a lot, of, a lot of bread. Yeah. King's Hawaiian rolls are delicious though. I didn't make that up either. I could watch the documentary on it. Mm-hmm. Splash my new shirt. This is right. Hmm. You got these little fry fragments. Comment below what your favorite fry is. Cur like curly season? Waffle? Maybe I'll make like a big Chick fil A sandwich sometime and put waffle bread with it. Comment below if you want to see a huge Chick fil A sandwich. <clears throat> you might eat the beef out of this. And fold that up, it'll be like bacon and cheese, Hawaiian taco. That sounds delicious. Don't even say it doesn't. That's all cheese. It's still warm in Tamil, too. At least it makes the cheese eatable. Edible. I thought it was too pretty cold. Remember when you were a kid and you used to go to the restaurant and they had the glass bottle? You never get the ketchup out? I hate them things. Stick a knife up in it. <laughs> I think you're supposed to tap the neck. Comment below if you know how to use a glass bottle with ketchup. It's a really good bacon sandwich. It's basically what it is. It should be. It's huge. Look at him. Look at that. <laughs> My bacon is finally starting to cool down. Second size of a regular bacon here. Oh, 
<laughs> yeah. There's probably still more bacon on this than there is on the bacon here. There's like five or six strips in this thing. That's what bacon here should be, Wendy's. Mmm, so much grease. I wet my hands. Wow. Ooh, there we go. Oh, 20 minutes and seven seconds. For the killer size version of the bacon eater. Three pounds of beef, one pound bun, 24 slices of cheese, 48 strips of bacon. Don't forget two pounds of fries. Yeah. Oh man. I mean, if you like this gigantic food series, comment below. Maybe I'll make something else big. Ugh. I'm in a bacon coma. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, too much bacon. It's like half a pig or something. This is a lot of bacon. Anyways, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. It helps me out tremendously. Make sure you like my Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at the Killer Kennedy. And like I said, the shirts are here, medium through 2x. So if you want to get your hands on one of them. Shoot me an email, killergains814 at gmail.com. I'll grab your address and PayPal, and I'll get one out to you. Until next time, take it easy.